Hi everyone, this is Lee McVeigh of 1-800-SHOWMEHOW.COM and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to access a GoToMeeting and use the menu screen. Now there are several ways you can join a meeting depending on how you receive the meeting invitation. And just remember, joining a, me a meeting requires no pre-registration, no software installation, and you don't have to configure anything. It's already done for you. You just need to follow the prompts, okay? Now, with 1-800-SHOW-ME-HOW, when we invite you to a GoToMeeting for the purpose of our consultations, we will be sending you an email with the meeting information provided within that email. And here's what that email is going to look like. Now, as you can see, you are given a link, and that link is right here. This is considered a live link because, as you notice, when I put my... Uh, cursor on it. Let me take it over here. My cursor changes from that little eye looking thing and it changes into a hand. It also tells you that you can click to follow it. Oh, so that means it's a live link. What we recommend is that two to three minutes prior to our scheduled consultation to click on this link. But before I do that, I'd like to explain a couple other details that are given in this email. If you're someone who likes to use a headset that connects to your computer, via a USB port, then you may wish to use the VoIP system to access the audio portion of our call. VoIP simply is an acronym meaning Voice Over Internet Protocol. If you've ever heard of Skype or have ever used Skype in the past to make um, phone calls over your computer, you probably are using a headset and so you're well aware of what I mean and probably quite comfortable with that. If you are more comfortable calling in from your landline, home phone, your cell phone, that is fine too. And for that, you will then need to call and dial this number that they give you. That's also provided in each email. And once you do that, you're going to get prompts to enter an access code, which you're given right here, and told to hit the pound sign. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and if I were to click on this link, and that's all you're going to do, it's going to take me and start running the GoToWebinar. Now, because I'm the host, it's going to take me to a different page. But it's always going to ask you for your prompt and prompt you to enter your email address. Sometimes it asks you to enter your email and name. Go ahead and do that. That is simply for the benefit of the person who is running the webinar. And as you can see what just popped up on my screen, it's verifying everything and connecting. That's what I meant about, you know, when it prompts you to run the software and all that, go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what the menu looks like that's going to pop up on your screen after it runs the, uh, starts running the software to, to have the meeting. This is what's going to prompt, or after being prompt, this is what's going to show up on your screen. This is called the GoToMeeting menu screen. Now, as you can see, it tells you who's on the call, the attendees. Right? You have a chat feature. You have an audio mode. Now, if you're using the VoIP system, you're going to want to make sure use mic and speakers are checked. If you call in on your telephone, then this button will be showing as checked. If at any time we're on the call and you'd like to mute yourself, you can always click on this microphone over here. If you're calling in with a telephone, it shows a telephone. And just click on it and you'll be muted. And then I can't hear you. Just remember that you, when you do want to speak with me, you need to click on it again. And it'll go from having a red slash across it, meaning you're muted, to showing that you're unmuted. Now, if for some reason you can't hear me, when I tell you that I can hear you, you're always able to chat with me. And this is a good feature to use if we're going to try and troubleshoot why you can't um, speak and be heard by me. So you're going to click on the little plus button by chat. It's going to open up this window. You're able to type your message right in here and click send. And then I'll be able to chat back and forth with you. So that is all there is to go to meeting. It's that simple to use. When we're finished with our consultation, I will be the one who ends the call, and you'll get a prompt on your screen saying your go-to meeting has ended. All right, and that's it. It's that simple. I hope you have a great day, and thanks for checking in with us at 1-800-SHOW-ME-HOW.